think my first real memory of her was, uh, I'm trying to remember what year it might have been, maybe 87 or so. Uh, when, uh, you know, I see this young lady who is really grown tall, uh, big, and I hear that she is a tomboy more than anything else, and she loves playing cricket. Now, cricket is a passion of mine. I played a lot of cricket, and as a uh, younger, just before my O-levels, I had bought a cricket bat paying a lot of money for Grenicles. Um, 700 rupees, which at that point in time was a hell of a lot of money. But that since I had left, that bat was just lying around at the, my house. So when I learned that she played cricket out on the streets and she played cricket with not only a tennis ball, but with a regular cricket ball, I, I remember giving her that bat and she was very pleased to get that because it's, you know, those are expensive bats. And um, that's kind of my first memory of her uh, really being excited about getting that cricket bat. And then I, I remember, I think it would have been in the same trip, uh, we all went to the beach. And we actually ended up playing cricket on the beach, which was a lot of fun. Uh, the first time I actually saw her play <laughs> and bowl to me. Uh, it was very interesting um, um, to see that and uh, play with her at that point. Um, and that, then my memories are more along the lines of getting to know her in visits and then knowing that she's into technology, an Apple fan. Um, I, I wouldn't say a fan, I'd say fanatic. Everything Apple. <laughs> um, I remember once... Uh, we were at Dali Appa's house and she happened to be visiting and was there. And I was having, I could not remember a password of mine on one of my computers. And, you know, after a few minutes, she said, well, I've just found your password for you. And I was very surprised at how savvy she was with technology at that point and with computers. Uh, and then I, you know, I, I think, you know, getting to know her a little bit, I, I understood her love for music with her iPod, uh, the first ones which had those dials that you would move around. And what fascinated me is, is the range of music she liked. Uh, a, a, a lot of us growing up in the environment we did with both English and Urdu uh, do tend to like both sides of music. Uh, but I'm very interesting to see that, you know, she goes from Pink Floyd to Cavalli, mm -hmm. and she had a whole genre in between, which was very nice. Uh, that was something I learned about her uh, in some of those visits. Uh, and I also remember then when she started T2F, um, the enthusiasm she had in trying to do something for the community there that needed an outlet to actually express themselves. And um, while I learned later how she, how much money she put in and whose money she put in, but at that point in time, um, the enthusiasm was, uh, you know, uh, you know, out there to see. And you know, she was really uh, involved with the passion. That was her passion. And while I've never attended a function at T2F, it unfortunately in my visits, uh, but I've seen some of the clips and the likes and, um, and some of the Kavalis that Omar was talking about, I really loved. Um, there are a few other guitarists who've come there that I know of. Uh, so it's very interesting to see how she evolved that the T2F and the range of topic she had um, discussions on. I mean, it, I've seen it from physics to what's happening in the region, to the needs around to be an activist, and also into you know, music, uh, which is a platform that touches all, uh, but the different kinds of music then, uh, giving voices to the different uh, people within that music industry. So it was very fascinating to see. And I think um, 
I think the the time I really talked to her the most must have been on her last trip uh, in 2014. Uh, she and Mimi Appa came up and stayed with us for a while. She stayed a little bit less, but Mimi Appa spent a month with us and uh, she kind of moved in and out visiting other places. And I remember talk on her way back, I, I was on my way back from work and she joined me from her meetings and we had dinner uh, and then went home. Uh, and I remember the, the thing that I, it struck me in all that conversation was, um, you know, we were talking about funding and how she raises funding and, and the fact that she uh, has been approached multiple times by different people in the US government from Pakistan, in Pakistan, sorry, in from the counselors and stuff, who are willing to fund her. But one of the things she was adamant about was not taking money from outside the country. She would raise money, whatever it is from inside, but she would not because that would actually brand her a certain way. So she would, you know, her, she was one of those who was a core Pakistani. Uh, everything that could be done for Pakistan and especially Karachi. So those are some of the memories I have of her. Uh, so lost to the family, but she did what she did was very good. 